The feeling from the scopes in this web differs significantly from what it was before. Primarily, this is due to the recoil rework. Additionally, new scopes have been added with the web. Let's talk about them. You are already familiar with the Cobra scope, so they added a twin brother to it, just with a slightly different name. The main difference is that you cannot attach a side shade to it. However, in the game it feels almost the same. The same radical modes, perhaps just a slightly different shape of the scope itself. Compared to the Cobra, the difference is small. It is sold just like its twin brother from the first proper and for the same amount of money. The new aptitude scope Tango pleased me a lot. Yes, the price is not standard one, 18 100,000 on the flea market, and traders do not sell it. Visually, it looks cool. At 1x magnification, the reticle is very beautiful, pleasant and comfortable. But at 6x, there are too many unnecessary details and the central dot is very thick. But it's a matter of taste. It's important to know that there is no dimming during tilting. The same goes for shooting. I remind you that is crucial to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. The Calimator Scope Boss is a really cool thing. It is sold though at the fourth loyalty level with Peacekeeper, and it's quite expensive. But in return you get a wonderful device with thin frames, a small dot that looks pretty good. Additionally, inside the scope there is a built-in tactical block where you can turn on either a laser pointer or infrared illumination, which is incredibly convenient. And most importantly, you get the ability to use the flashlight separately. This makes you much more versatile. By the way, there is an old scope RMR. It has a very beautiful dot, and I always saw potential on it. So, no, that playing with it in this patch is quite comfortable. But going back to the novelties, let me show you this rail. It looks very amusing. You can put some micro calimeter on top and a tactical block on the bottom. The rail is very cheap. It's sold on the flea market, and it can be very useful for weapons like RFB, where you can't install any anything additional. In aiming mode, it's even more comfortable than usual. The rail holding the sight is very thin and only falls into the field of view. By the way, it can help you with the weapons that create flashes similar to jailbreak on AR-15. Let's for the sake of interest put a calimeter to see the difference. These are the additions we have with this patch. I hope you enjoyed it. Write your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next time. Good luck.